name is Danielle. My name is Cassidy. We love you, Grandma! Oh, I love you too, Glamour Girls! Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel, Made with Love by Glamour, where everything here is made and taught with love by me, Glamour. Um, today we're going to be doing part two of a uh, tutorial that I made last week, and it was called Part One, the Precious Baby Beanie and Cardigan tutorial. So today we're going to do part two, which is the sweater, the cardigan. And this is probably going to be a longer tutorial just because the project is bigger. Um, this is the hat that I made last time and it's for a three month old. And today I'm going to follow the instructions for a three month old again. Um, there are instructions for a six month old. So periodically I'll be telling you um, the different instructions that pertain to six month old if that's the size you want to make. Um, what you'll be needing is a stitch marker or a... Uh, a piece of yarn in a contrasting color from what you're working with, a F hook or 3.75 for those of y'all who go by millimeter, and I'm going to be using a row counter. And later on in the project, towards the end, you'll be needing a pair of scissors and a yarn needle to tie in your ends. Okay, so let's get started and go get your supplies. Okay, so I'm sure you've got your hook and your um, yarn, and the book pattern asks for an F hook, but um, everyone's always asking me how to size things differently, and just so you know, if you use a bigger hook, you're going to get a bigger size. If you use a smaller hook, you're going to get a smaller size. So if you want to do this for like a newborn, you might want to go down a hook size or two. If you and the instructions here are for three or six month old, but if you want to make it bigger, then um, use a bigger hook. Okay, um, so right now we're going to get started with a slip knot, and I'm sure most of y'all who have watched my videos know how to make a slip knot. And for those of us making three month, a uh, three month size, we're going to chain 43. And for those of y'all that want to make the six month size, you're going to chain 47. So meet me back here when you have either your 43 or your 47. Alrighty. Okay, so I have my 43 and I'm sure you have the number of chains that you need for your size that you're doing, either a three month old or a six month old. Um, and now the pattern if I pause, it's going to be because I'm reading the pattern as, as we go along. So we're, what we're going to do is we're going to make a um, double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. So one, two, three, four. We're going to put a double crochet into that. Into that fourth chain. This thread is not working for me. There we go. All right. And now the pattern says that we're going to make double crochets into the next six um, chains as well. And then meet me back here. Okay, so I did my six. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And then that one that we did into that fourth chain. And then that um, right here ends up counting as a double crochet as well. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight double crochets. And now the pattern says um, in the next chain work two double crochets. Okay, so in this next stitch it's asking us to put two double crochets into that same stitch. There's one and there's the second one. And now it says to chain two, one, two, and then to put two more double crochets into that same stitch. One and two. And now I need to pause so I can read the instructions. Okay. It says that, um, it says double crochet in the next two stitches and but if you're doing six month size um, double crochet in the next four stitches but um, those of us doing 
a three month size, we're going to double crochet into the next two. So here's one. And here's two. And what we're making right now is the neckline of the cardigan. And as you can see right here, this is starting to turn. So what it's doing is we're making this part and now we're turning right there. Um, so let me see what we're supposed to do next. And it says in the next chain, work two double crochets, then chain two, then two double crochets. So do the same thing that we did here. Two double crochets, chain two, and then two double crochets into the same stitch. So do that right now in the next stitch and I'll meet you back here. Okay, so now that you've put two double crochets and a chain two and two more double crochets into that next stitch, now what we're going to do is we're going to put double crochets into the next 17 stitches, okay? So meet me back here when you have um, 17 double crochets in the next stitches, okay? So here's the first one. And now I'm going to do 16 more. And I'll meet you back here when you're done with your 17 double crochets. Okay, so I have my 17 double crochets going across and this is what your project should be looking like. Okay, and now the pattern tells us to, let me see, in the next chain work a shell. So we're gonna do the same thing that we did here in the corners, we're gonna do it there now. So these are called shells and so we're going to do a shell again in the next stitch so we're going to put two double crochets in the next stitch and then we're going to chain and then we're going to do two more double crochets okay meet me back here when you've done your shell in this corner and i'll tell you what to do next and maybe i can get my little yorkie to be quiet now <laughs> okay so i completed my shell and now the pattern is asking us to double crochet in the next two stitches for a three month old and for a six month old you're going to double crochet into the next four stitches. Okay, so I did my two and now we're going to make a shell in the next stitch which is two double crochets and then two chains and then two double crochets and then meet me back here. Okay, I did my shell. I in this in that stitch right there we put two double crochets, we chain two, and then we put two in that same stitch. And now we're going to double crochet into the next eight stitches, and we should be at the end there, and I'll meet you back here. Okay, so I did my eight right there, and this is what our work should be looking like right now. If I can untangle myself. Okay, so that's the yoke or the neckline of the sweater. So this is where the baby's neck would go. This is the opening here. Okay, and so now that we've done our eight, it's asking us to chain three. One, two, and three. So okay, we have our chain three. And now at this point, let me see, you should have, um, 53 double crochets if you're doing a three month old or 57 double crochets if you're doing a uh, six month old. So make sure you did it right. Go do your counting. <laughs> okay, um, now for row two, it's asking us to double crochet in each double crochet up till we get to the chain two space. Okay, so I put my double crochets all the way till I got to the chain two space, okay? I even put double crochets on those two shells from the previous row. Um, and then I stopped right there at the, ch at the chain two. And now what it's wanting us to do is to make a shell into that chain two space. So we'll, we'll do the same thing um, in this two, um, in this chain two space as we did in that one stitch down here, okay? So we're going to put two double crochets and the same little space and then we're going to chain two and then we're going to put two double crochets 
one and two. And now I'm sure we're gonna do double, we're gonna do just double crochets to here, let me check. Okay, so basically it's not even giving us any more instruction. This is what it says exactly. It says um, double crochet in each double crochet till you get to the chain two space of the next shell. Shell in chain two space, repeat from start. So we have to do this three times. What we just did here, we're gonna do here and here and here. So that's your three times, one, two, and three. So basically what it's asking us to do is to put one double crochet into each of these spaces And then when we get to that chain two space, we're going to put another shell in there. I'll just go ahead and do this next one with you and then I'll leave you to do these last two on your own. That way the video is not so long. Okay, so one more till I get to the chain two space right there. And now I'm at the chain two space, so now I'm going to make a shell stitch, which is two double crochets, chain two, and then two double crochets all into that same space. One, and two, and then chain two, and now two more double crochets. Okay, and you're going to do the same thing on these two, on these three sides. You're going to put double crochets all the way across, and then when you, you're going to stop there, put double crochets all the way up to there, and then when you get to the chain two space, you're going to make another shell, and then after the shell, you're going to do your double crochets, and then you're going to do another shell into that space, and then you're going to do double crochets till the end, and then meet me back here. There's two more stitches to go. One. And when I was a beginner, I thought I was done because to me that looks like that's the end, but then my work would start veering that way because I would forget that that chain three, it, it's, it's also a stitch. So we need to do a double crochet into that space. It's a little hard to get into, but you gotta get in there or your work will get crooked and you won't have the right amount of stitches when they tell us how many stitches we should have. So there we go. And now it says to chain three and then turn our work around. And now it says to double crochet. We're going to basically do the same thing we just did in that last row. We're going to double crochet all the way to here. We're going to put a double crochet right in there. And then once we get to the um, chain two space, we're going to put another shell and then we're going to do double crochets. We're going to follow that all the way along. And then meet me back here. And at the end of this row, row three, you should have 85 stitches for a three month old. You should have 89 stitches for a six month old. All right, guys, I'll meet you back here at the end of row three. And don't forget to do your clicker. Okay, so I'm at the end of my row three and I do have 85 stitches, 85 double crochets. So um, go ahead and count yours and make sure that you do have 85 double crochets. Okay, now we're at the end of row three and we're gonna chain up three. One, two, and three. And we're gonna turn our work around. <clears throat> and for us making three months, size we're going to repeat what we just did in that row for two more rows so for row four and row five we're going to do the exact same thing we just finished doing double crochet into each double crochet and then when you get to the chain two you're going to put another shell in there and do that all the way around for row four and then you're also going to do it for row five and for a six month old you're going to do it for another row for row six okay um, so for us, it's two more rows of that for a six month old, three more rows. And at the end of, um, my row five, I should have 117 double crochets 
for my three month old and the six month old size should have 137 double crochets at the end of their um, row six. Okay, so I'm at the end of my row five, one, two, three, four, five, and I have 117 stitches for a three month old. That's what we should have. We should have 117 at the end of row five. If you're making a six month size, then you're at the end of your row six and you should have 137 double crochets in yours. Okay, so now we're going to chain up three and we're gonna turn our work around <clears throat> and we're going to put double crochets into all of these stitches um, until we get to the chain two space and we're going to do something a little bit differently so meet me back here when you get to the uh, last double crochet right before the space okay so I will see you in a minute okay so I just put um, one double crochet in each of the stitches and I'm at this I'm at the chain two space right here and so now we're gonna do something a little bit differently we're only gonna put one double crochet in here and then we're gonna chain two and then we're gonna put one double crochet in there again oops I left a little string okay so that's the only thing we're really doing differently so we put double crochets in all the stitches till you get to the chain two space. Then you're gonna put one double crochet, chain two, one double crochet, and do double crochets in all of the remaining stitches until you get to the chain two space over here and then repeat what I just showed you right there, okay? Okay, so I'm at the end of row six and those making a six month old, you're at the end of your seventh row and I have 125 stitches and if you are making a six month old you should have 145 stitches and so now what we're going to do for the next three rows we're going to do the exact same thing we just did on this last row we're going to put double crochets all in those stitches and when we get to this chain two space we're going to put one double crochet and we're going to chain two and we're going to put another double crochet in that chain two space and then we're going to continue on down okay so at the end of these three rows um i will have 149 stitches and those doing a six month old should have 169 stitches um <clears throat> so for us doing the three month old these next three rows are going to be seven eight and nine for those doing the six month old you your three rows will be eight, nine, and 10. Okay, so meet me back at the end of row nine or row 10 for those doing the six month old. Alrighty. Okay, I'm at the end of my row nine and those of y'all doing six month, you're at the end of your row 10. And um, I didn't finish this tutorial yesterday when I started, today's another day. <laughs> um, because I uh, had to go start dinner and then I uh, wanted to get back to my reading. I love to read. <laughs> what I'm reading right now is a book called Divergent. The movie's coming out soon, but this is a trilogy by Veronica Roth and this is the first of the three books. The second one is Insurgent and the third one is Allegiant. So I'm like totally into this book. I just started the book this morning and I'm already on chapter actually I started it yesterday right before I started the tutorial I'm already on chapter 17 it's awesome <laughs> I should check it out I want to read them before the movie starts um, which is in March I believe alrighty so now we're done with the um, shoulder neck area now we're gonna start on the body and so what it's asking us to do is to chain three one two and three and then we're going to turn our work around and we're going to put double crochets all inside of those or not inside but all on top of those double crochets from the previous row until we get to the um, chain two space like we have been doing and then meet me back here because we're going to do something differently we're going to make the armholes now so I'm at the end here 
where I asked you to stop. Um, I put double crochets all through here and I stopped right here at the chain two space. Um, but before I tell you how to make the armhole, um, you should be on the wrong side of the material at this point. We're kind of working on the wrong side. And the reason we know it's the wrong side is because the slip knot tail is right there. And so when we started our, our slip stitch and our little, our first row, it should have been on this side. So what I did is, I guess I should have told y'all to do this. Um, I put a stitch marker on one of the double crochets on the right side so that I always know where the right side is and the wrong side is. Um, and that's going to be important here in a second. But in case you guys are wondering where I got this, um, I got them at knitpicks.com. I was reading my Crochet Today magazine and um, I saw these and I just had to have them. <laughs> They're a little bit more expensive than your regular um, stitch markers. These are probably 18 to 20 for like two or three dollars. And these are $8.99 plus shipping. Um, and one of them, or they say RS for right side, and one of them says WS for wrong side. There's another one that says end, like for end of row. There's another one that says start, like for start of row. And there's others that have um, letters on them. But anyway, if you guys are interested in getting something like this, it's awesome. <laughs> but if not, just get a regular stitch marker, put it in through there, and you'll know that where the stitch marker is, that's your right side. Okay, so I wanted to explain that because that's going to be a little important here in a second. Okay, so let's um, make the armhole now. So we're going to yarn over, put our hook into the chain 2 space, pull up a loop and then we're going to um, go through two loops and then us who are making three month old we're gonna count 30 double crochets which should be the very last double crochet right before the chain two space if you're doing a six month old that should be 36 double crochets um, which is right there right before you get to your chain two space so we're going to skip 30 and here's the part where it's kind of important um, to have the right side and wrong side because we don't want to fold we're here we don't want to fold it this way because then that's the wrong side so instead we're looking at our work but what we're going to do is fold it inward this way toward us so now this is the right side okay so now the right side is facing us or facing the outside. Okay, so if that confused you a little bit, go back and watch it again. Um, but we're, we want to be working on the right side right now. Okay, so now that we've got those two loops on our hook still, now we're going to insert our hook here, draw up a loop, go through two. We're basically doing a double crochet, okay? yarn over and draw through the last two if I can get out of there there we go and we just made an armhole okay adorable <laughs> it's starting to look like a cardigan like a sweater so as I was reading the directions to know what to do next I caught a little typo I always catch typos on stuff here it says to yarn over and draw though all three loops on hook it obviously meant yarn over and draw through all three loops on hook. So anyway, um, I just think that's funny when I catch stuff like that, which I catch stuff like that all the time um, in books, in my novels and stuff. And even in movies, I catch um, little editing errors that they did while, uh, while editing the film. You know, one scene, maybe there'll be a strap on a lady's shoulder and then it'll show the exact same scene but from a different angle and now the strap is off her shoulder and stuff like that. I've always noticed things like that. I don't know. I'm sure you all do too. Okay, so now what the instructions told us to do is to double crochet in all the stitches till we get to the next chain two space. And then we're going to obviously make another armhole just like we did over here. But in case you're not comfortable doing it on your own, I'll come back when we're right there when we did our very last double crochet before the chain two space. Okay, see you in a minute. I'm only halfway through, um, but I came back because I don't want you to be confused. Earlier we uh, made the armhole 
um, with the right side facing us. Um, but then when I told you to do these double crochets just now, you're going to open this up and there's your armhole. But we're going to obviously be working on the inside now so that we can get to this to this side over here where the sh um, chain two spaces. So just in case you were confused, like, wait a minute, I thought we were working on the right side. <laughs> but this is the inside, the wrong side. And this is the right side facing out. Okay. So anyway, just wanted to come back in case anyone got confused. I'll be back at the end of um, this little space right here until I get to the chain two space. Okay, I just made my last double crochet and now we're back at the chain two space and we're going to make an armhole on this side now. So what we're going to do is um, yarn over, put your hook in through that chain two space, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two, if I can, and you should have two loops still on your hook and then we're going to do the same thing. Count 30 for a three month old or I believe it was 36 for a six month old. And make sure we're folding it the right way that we did the other side. Okay, yeah, we're going to fold it like this. So you see, this is the right way to do it. Okay, and then we're going to, so this should be your 30th stitch for a three month old or your 36 for a six month old. We're going to go into there, into the chain two space. Wait, where did my working yarn go? There it is. Almost. Um, trapped my working yarn inside there. Okay, so we've got our hook through the chain two space. We have two loops on the hook right now. We're going to yarn over, pick up a loop, yarn over, go through, yeah, I think I'm going to go through two. Go through two, yarn over, and go through the last. Am I on camera? Yeah, I am. Okay, go through the last two. When I'm having a difficult time doing something, sometimes I get off camera. Sorry. Okay, so now we're going to double crochet all the rest of the double crochets in this row, which is row one for everyone. Row one for three months, row one for six months. <laughs> okay, so let's do that all the way to the end. Double crochet and then meet me at the end of this row. And don't forget that if you're using your clicker, we're still on row one. Okay, so I am at the end of row one and for a three month size we should have 91 stitches and for a six month size we should have 99. And <clears throat> in case you're confused about how to count the stitches because of that armhole, um, just count all the, all the V's right here, count all of them. And then when you get to the armhole right here, you can see that there's a stitch, there's a stitch, there's a stitch. Count all of those. And then go count all of these, all those V's, count them all, and then we're at the other armhole. And don't get confused, don't skip counting those. So you count that, count that, count that, count all the way down. And you should have 91 for three month old and 99 for a six month old. And now what we're going to do is chain three, one, two and three and now if you watched my um, previous video um, part one of the precious baby beanie um, and cardigan we're going to do the same stitch right here and i found out from a friend of mine in my facebook group page i didn't know what to call that stitch um, and if you watch the video you'll know i said i don't know what it's called but anyway i think she said the stitch is called a seed stitch so that's what it's called um, and so anyway we're going to start doing that that seed stitch so we chained three and now we're going to um single crochet don't go right back into that one go into here single crochet And now we're going to double crochet. Ah, there's my threads. I'm always having problems with my threads, as you saw in my last little segment. Okay. <clears throat> okay, and now that we did a double crochet, whoops, now we're going to do a single crochet. And we're going to follow this sequence pattern all the way till the other end. 
So we just did a single, now we're going to do a double. And now a single. And just keep following that pattern. Single, double, single, double, single, and do that all the way till you get the armhole till you get to the end over here okay all right so now we're working on the body there we are so this is the out this is the right side of the sweater and we're coming this way with our seeds with our uh, seed stitch I'm gonna go all the way till we get to this side <laughs> uh oh that's my phone um let me see and then meet me back here. Don't forget that's row two, so use your counter. Okay, so all right, meet me back here. Single, double, single, double, single, double. See you in a bit. So this is the end of my row two, <clears throat> but I wanted to um, do the last stitch with you because I don't want you to forget to do that chain three from the previous row, okay? Um, so it's kind of difficult to get into and kind of um, difficult to know where to put it, but put it at the top of that chain three. Okay, and now row three, don't forget your clicker. Actually, your row counter. I don't know why I call it a clicker, because it clicks. <laughs> okay, so now row three says single crochet. Oh wait, first we have to chain three. One, two three and then turn our work and now we're going to single crochet into the next double crochet so we're gonna skip that single crochet right there from the previous row remember the last stitch that we did was a double into that chain but prior to that we did a single and then a double and then a single and then a double and you can tell the difference because it's the single crochet stitch is a lot shorter. It only goes from here to there. The double goes from here down to there. So there's the end of the single and there's the end of the double. So it says to single crochet into that stitch, the double one. So we're skipping the single and going into the top of the double crochet. And we're gonna single crochet there, okay? Okay, so now we're going to double crochet into the single crochet from the previous row. And now we're going to single crochet into that double. Double crochet into that little single. Okay, so just keep following that pattern all the way to get to the other end, which, which will be the end of row three. What I wanted to show you, what I thought about after I uh, looked at this, this could also be like a little short half sweater for a, for a little baby or a toddler. Maybe go down a few rows and it could be what they call a bolero. And the Spanish pronunciation is bolero, but this would be cute, a cute little um, bolero here. You just go down maybe a few more rows and maybe put a cute little shell stitching or something or a fancy little edging. So anyway, you can make another little outfit with this pattern. You don't have to um, you don't have to go all the way down until um, the end. You could just stop right about there and that would be cute. Okay, so meet me back here when you get to the other end. Okay, so we are at the end of row three and this time it tells us to just chain one and then to turn our work around and it says to single crochet into the first double crochet it doesn't say to go into the next double crochet that would mean that one um, and if you did that that would start making your work angle that way so I think that would be really confusing for someone to read that part of the pattern where it says single crochet into the first double crochet. I probably would have gone into that one thinking, well, that's a single, that's the first double, and I would have probably gone in there and my work would have started veering that way. 
Um, but what it means when it says the first double crochet, it means right back into that one, okay? Because if you remember on this row three, we did a single and then we did a double and now we're chaining one and we're going right back into that first double crochet, okay? So let's single crochet right into there and now we're gonna double crochet into that one which is a single crochet from the previous row and now we're going to um, single into this one got confused there for a second <laughs> believe me it's not hard to confuse me <laughs> okay now a double into that single and just follow this pattern for row four um, so you did a double now you're going to do a single double single double and I'll meet you back here at the end of row four Okay, so I just have one more stitch to do at the end of row four, which is a single crochet. Hopefully you're ending your um, row four with a single crochet. If not, gotta go check your work. You did something wrong because the last stitch on row four should be a single crochet, okay? And then it says to chain three, one, two, and three, and then turn your work around as usual. And now, um, it tells you to repeat rows three and four until your piece measures five inches for a three month, six inches um, for a six month. And it wants you to measure from under, from right there, from where the armpit is, all the way down till it measures five inches, or all the way down till it measures six inches for six month old. Okay, so if you forgot, um, what you did for rows three and four, just rewind this. Oops, there goes my phone. <laughs> that means that somebody posted something in my ladies crochet group on Facebook. Um, or they commented on something. Anyway, I probably need to go approve something real quick. Um, so I'll hurry up. Um, so repeat rows three and four until your work measures five inches or six inches. And like I was saying, if you forgot what rows three and four are, just rewind it to where I gave you instructions for row three and then fast and then follow that and then do the instructions for row four and just back and forth do that until your work measures the right amount okay all right I'll see you in a bit okay so I'm back because I've got my five inches from under from under the arm all the way down um, and now what it's telling us to do is we're going to finish it off. We're going to finish off the bodice of it. And normally when we finish things off, we um, at the end of the row, we chain one and then pull the tail through. This time it tells us not to. Um, let me see. I think I'm going to go get my scissors because I forgot them. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> Silly me. All right, so I'm probably just going to leave like a I don't know, three or four inch tail, um, and cut it there. And so right there was our last stitch of um, row four, after you've got your five inches or six inches. Now just pull that tail through and snug it down. Kind of, kind of different, huh? We're not used to doing that. I don't know why they don't want us to do a chain one because that leaves it a little loose. But I guess that doesn't really matter because we're going to put an edging at the end. So. I'll just do what they told me to, to do. Alrighty guys, next thing is the sleeves. Now we're getting close to the end of the cardigan. We're going to start on the sleeves like I said before. And remember when we uh, made the, the armhole, we joined it from this um, chain two space of the shell onto this um, chain two space of that shell and we joined it and that's how we made the armhole. So what we're going to do now, um, the instructions are telling, let me see, let me find my new thread. <clears throat> the instructions are telling us to go into that chain two space right there and then go into that chain two space and that's where we're going to join um, a new piece of yarn so that we can start to make the sleeves okay so this is how I join it <laughs> and make sure that tails over there um and so go ahead and whoops hold on to that tail so that loop doesn't get so big 
Okay, there. Now it's joined. And now you want to chain two. I, can, I want to keep holding on to this tail so that loop doesn't get bigger. Okay, now chain two. One and two. And now we're going to double crochet in all the double crochets around um, the armhole area. Okay, so I'm going to weave in my this tail as I go along. And actually, instead of it hanging out here, I think I'm going to push it through to this side. Just hold on to it to make sure that it doesn't come loose. But I think I can hide it better if I bring it in through the inside. There. Okay. So now we're going to double crochet into all the rest of the double crochets from this area. Okay? Don't forget to weave your, to crochet your tail in at the same time. Okay. So there we go. Getting going. <laughs> keep that tail in there and just keep double crocheting until you get to the last double crochet on the other side and then I will show you what to do next so right here is the chain 2 space stop at the double crochet right before that chain 2 space and I'll meet you back I am at the last double crochet I already put my double crochet into that one and now go ahead and count your stitches and make sure that you have 30 don't count um, the chain 2 um, stitch or don't count the top of the chain two. count from there and make sure you have 30 so go ahead and pause this and do your counting and okay now that we know that we have 30 stitches the instructions want us to close it um, and they don't want us to um, join it at the top of the of the chain two. Do you remember before we chain two and then we did our first double crochet? Well they want us to not join at that chain two spot. They want us to join at the top of the double crochet. So let's go ahead and do that. Join with a slip stitch. Okay, hold on. And now it's closed. Alrighty, so now that we joined it, um, it wants us to chain one. Okay, so we did our chain one, and now it wants us to turn our work around. Excuse me, I keep getting out of shot, but it's because the sweater is bigger now, so I have more to maneuver. Okay, so now it wants us to single crochet right back into the same place where we joined, which was right there. So single crochet into there. And then I'm going to get my marker because I have a hard time knowing where to join with the single crochets here. And now we need to double crochet. So we're going to put that double crochet right here, that on top of that um, double crochet right there. We're going to, oops, I got a yarn over, don't I? Okay, we're going to put our double crochet right there. It's kind of hard to get into. Okay. Now we're going to single crochet. So this is row two, in case you uh, have your row counter with you. Now we're working on row two. So now we're going to double, no, now we're going to single crochet into the next stitch. So once again, we're doing the seed stitch. Now we're going to double crochet into the next one. Okay, and we're going to repeat that sequence of pattern all till we get to the other side. Alrighty, I'm at the end of row two, and so we're going to join right here where we put our marker. Okay, so we should have ended with a chain two, I mean a, a double crochet, that way it's a continuous pattern. Remember that's a chain, that's a, that's a single crochet, so we wanted to end it with a double crochet so that when we join it, it's a continuous pattern. Okay, so now the pattern is asking us to chain up three. One, two, and three. And then turn our work around. Let's see if I can grab this over here. 
sweater is getting a little harder to manage in this little teeny tiny confined spot that I have of filming. <laughs> okay, so now um, the beginning of row three says to single crochet into the next stitch, which is this one. And then double crochet. And then single crochet. And we're going to follow that pattern again, just like we've been doing. If you want to put a stitch marker anywhere, put it at the top of that chain three, because that's where we'll be joining. So go ahead and follow this um, pattern sequence all the way around to get to the other side there, to the end of the row. And um, do you remember what the name of the stitch is? <laughs> It's called the seed stitch and the reason I know is because my good friend Penny Edwards from my Facebook crochet group um, She said that it was called the seed stitch and the reason she let me know is because when I was making this beanie um, Pattern or this beanie tutorial. She said oh, it's called a seed stitch because I kept saying I don't know what it's called But I think I really really like it. So anyway, she told me that it was called a seed stitch all right, so go ahead and follow this pattern all the way around and I'll meet you back here. Okay, so I am finished with row three. I ended with a single crochet because that's considered a double crochet. That chain three is considered a double crochet. Now it wants us to join at the top of that chain three. Okay, so that's the end of row three and this is the right side of our sweater and now it wants us to chain one and turn it around and now we're going to be working on the wrong side of the sweater <laughs> okay so now it wants us to chain one and then turn our work oh and that's the end of the instruction because now it says repeat rows two and three until your piece measures six inches for um, three month old, six and a half inches for six month old, and it wants us to measure from the underarm all the way down to there. So stop when um, it measures six or six and a half inches, depending on what size you're making. Okay, and it also says at the end of last row, no, 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 no I wanted to read before that. Oh, it says to um, work the piece until it's six or six and a half inches from underarm but ending it by working on a right side row so right now we're working a wrong side row but what it means is it wants us this was working on the right side row so pretend this is already six and a half inches or six inches we would stop while we're working on a right side row okay so i'll meet you back at the end of your six inch sleeve or six and a half inch sleeve and don't forget we're gonna end it by working on a right side row okay we don't want to end it when we're working on the inside or wrong side row okay we want to end it when we're working on a row that's working on the right side of the sweater okay so i have my six inches from here to here And now, and I end it on a right, the right side where the right part of the sweater is facing me. And now what it's saying to do is to chain, okay, I just joined right here. And now it's saying to chain one, don't turn your work this time, it says. Now it's a single crochet in the same chain as joining, so right there gonna single crochet right back into that okay now it says and in the next stitch as well okay so now I'm gonna single crochet into the next one as well and now it says decrease over next two stitches okay so to decrease you go into the next stitch pull up a loop go into the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over and go through all three now and that's a decrease we just put two stitches together and made it into just one stitch see so that one stitch is um was those two stitches and we just made it into one so that's a decrease and now it says to single crochet into the next 
two, and then make another decrease. And then crochet into the next two, single crochet into the next two, I should say. And then another decrease. And do this all the way around. Get out of here, okay, yeah. Do that all the way around and meet me at the end over here. Okay, I'm all the way around and I just did my two single crochets. And now I have to end with a decrease because remember these two were, when we first started, it was a single crochet right back into where we came from and then it was another single crochet. So like I've said before, um, you always want it to be a continuous pattern. So it was um, single crochet, single crochet, decrease, single crochet, single crochet, decrease. And so now it was single crochet, single crochet. So now I have to make a decrease. Okay, and now we have to join at the very first single crochet. Okay, so now we joined, um, and now it says, they're calling this next one a row two, and it says chain one, slip stitch in the next stitch. Okay, so we're doing, if you did the, um, the beanie that matches this, then you'll know how to do the edging because we did the exact same edging on the beanie. See, it's kind of a cool little edging, cool little finishing edge. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Okay, we just slip stitched and now we're gonna chain one and we're gonna slip stitch into the next stitch. Oh yeah, slip stitch, I almost did a single crochet. Chain one, slip stitch chain one and just follow that all the way around and I'll meet you back here. Okay, I'm at the end and now it says to slip stitch into the um, first slip stitch that we made. Is that what it says? Yeah, join in first slip stitch and then finish off. Woohoo! Okay, here we go again. Let's see if I can do it. Come on. Why do I have problems slip joining and slip stitching? I have no idea. Okay. I'm still having problems. The stitches are so little. Okay, got it. Whew. All right, and now finish off. So what that means to me is to chain one and then cut it right here. And now just pull that out and snug this down. So now you have to do the exact same thing you did here on the other side. If you don't remember what you did, then just rewind this and uh, go follow the instruction again. And I will meet you back here when you've got both of your sleeves. <laughs> when we have both of our sleeves, I still have to do the work too. All right, guys, meet you back at sleeve number two. Okay, so I've got both sleeves in now, and I'm sure you do too. And so now what the directions say, it's going to sound a little funny to you, but they want you to put the sweater um, flat and with the top of the sweater down at the bottom and the bottom up at the top. And I don't know why they want us to start here, but it says to start at the upper right hand corner and attach a new piece of string, not string, <laughs> new piece of uh, yarn. So we're going to start here and attach that. Okay, and now let me read it. It says chain, wait, okay, first we have to attach it. Okay, and now it says chain one, and which I just did and then single crochet into that same spot. Okay. Okay, so now that we, um, we attached our yarn, we chained one, and we single crocheted right back into that spot where we um, joined our new yarn, now we're going to single crochet in each stitch 
until we get to this corner okay and then meet me at that corner okay so I just um, did my single crochets from here and I did the very last one there and here's the corner and here's your tail and I'm gonna work my tail in when I come this way so what we want to do is right there in that corner stitch right there in that hole we want to put two single crochets okay because that's going to help us turn actually let's put three in there one because that's the one for this side and now the second one is going to be the corner one and the third one is what's going to help us turn our work to the other edge now see if you ever want to turn a if you ever want to you know put an edging on a on a corner like that that's what you do you usually put three stitches in that corner stitch right there and that gets you on this side now so now we can turn our work and we want to put one single crochet in each row and work your tail in if you can okay so put one single crochet see these rows put them in put one single crochet in each row that we made okay and then when you get right here when you get to there the very first row that we started our, our bodice on our body stop there and I'll be back and show you what to do next okay so here I am at the first row of the body and now they want us to put two single crochets in each of these rows right here okay and we're going to do that till we get up to the corner the neck line corner so what I'm going to do they don't say where to put your two single crochets so I don't know if I'm close enough but here's the uh, here's that row that row but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one in this little area and then one right there in that bigger area because I don't want to put two in there because I think it'll make it too big and now I'm going to go into that little area and I'm going to do that all the way till I get up to the corner now I'm going to put one in there and just do that till you get up to the corner and I'll be back okay so here I am at the corner stitch and I've already got one single crochet in there I'm going to put two more in there because remember we want to um, start turning to go up to the neckline area now so you always put three single crochets in uh, or double crochets or whatever it is whatever stitch it is you're making so there's three and so now we can start putting single crochets on this side one single crochet per stitch and you can work that tail in if you didn't weave yours in yet whoops I think I went into the wrong spot there because that hole is too big okay right there looks better okay so just put one single crochet in each of these stitches now and then go all the way around the neck area and then go back go around this area the back and then this left side of the sweater and then right here in this corner you're going to do the exact same thing that you did over here you're going to put three single crochets in that last stitch and then you're going to put two um, on this part and then you're going to put one so basically what you did on this side of the sweater do it on that side of the sweater and when you get down here again you're going to put three in the corner because that's the way you're going to be turning and go all the way put one single crochet in each of these stitches and then you'll end up over here where we joined our our, our new piece of yarn and then you'll slip stitch right there and then meet me back here okay so I went all around the edge of the sweater and now I'm right back here where we first attached our new piece of yarn um, and now we're going to put a slip stitch into here okay and now we're going to do the edging that we've been doing which is um, chain one and then slip stitch into the next one yeah. come on now chain one slip stitch 
chain one. Um, sorry, just threw that in the camera, didn't I? <laughs> okay, we're going to do that. So we're over here on this corner, and we're going to work our way this way, go all the way up, making that same edging stitch all the way around the neck, down this side, down the bottom of the sweater till we get back over here, and then we're going to slip stitch into this very first one that we made, okay? So that's what we're going to do, and that's how the sweater will be finished off, and then we're going to weave in our ends, but I'll meet you back here when we're done with this edging, okay? Okay, so I'm back. I finished the edging, and I'm back here at the beginning, and I'm going to slip stitch, and then we'll be finished with the sweater. <laughs> My word, that was difficult. Okay, so I got it through and now we are finished. Okay, so now I am just going to cut it right here. And now we can pull that out and we can snug that down there. And we can weave in our tails. I'll do that later. Um, so that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, there's lots of cute things that you can do um, to embellish this sweater. What I would have done, had I not been making a tutorial, is I would have put um, pink stripe, like maybe one there, and then maybe one here. Because the button that I'm going to use is this one. Isn't that adorable? I'm going to um, get four or five buttons. I'm going to put one there, one there, one there, one there. And I think these are just adorable. <laughs> um, and then another thing that you can do is you can either cro crochet yourself a little flower or something and put there. Or you can go buy a little flower and put there. This is a little pin right here, but I think there's lots of things that you can do with this. Um, even with the beanie that we made earlier, I think this would look really cute on it, wouldn't it, as a set? <laughs> so I think it's really darling, and I'm happy with it. Um, so yeah, I'd love to see pictures of the um, baby beanie and the... Uh, cardigan that you guys make you can come and join me at my facebook crochet group um, it's called ladies crochet show and tell happy hour i was going to also say that i was going to put those two stripes down here on the sweater and i also would have put a stripe a pink stripe here and a pink stripe here because i think i just love how this color and pink go together i just i think it's adorable yeah um but the reason I didn't do the pink stripes is because this is already kind of a difficult pattern to teach and to learn if you're a beginner. Um, so I didn't want to confuse things more by teaching how to also change colors in the middle of a project. So I'll save that for another day. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I sure enjoyed making it for you. And I want to give a little shout out to Stephanie Johnson. Stephanie. Um, I know that you're going to be having a grandbaby, um, I think you said in May or June, and you were um, asking me a few times, um, reminding me, I'm still waiting, I'm still waiting for that tutorial. Well, here it is. Here's the tutorial to make, I, part one was for the beanie, part two is for this. I just want to congratulate you early on um, your grandbaby that's going to be here in May or June, and uh, hurry up, get to crocheting so you can make him or her a sweater um, all right guys thank you so much for joining me again here at made with love by glamo where everything here is always made and taught by me with love for you all right guys bye thank, thank you, you for, for watching, watching our glamo's channel, channel.